going on guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video, Moving Weight Fishing. And today we got the crew. We got Chief on the boat. We got CJ. And then we got the boy John Woolley. And we're crushing Vermilion Snapper right now. As you can tell, we just filled up a five gallon bucket on about two drifts, maybe one or two drifts. The boys are smoking them. And blur that out. Look at all, look at all the Vermilion marking. It's absolutely unreal. All we're doing is drifting <clears throat> with the wind and the tide and we're just on a chew. There he is, Chico. We're just letting these little chicken rigs down with two hooks. I'll show you them in a second. And then we're dropping pieces of squid down. We got pieces of squid, apple juice, not just squid, barracuda, bonita. Pretty much just raggedy smelling things that will stay on the hook. Chico's got an Oh, a little two for one special. Nice vermilion there, though. And they are just absolute beautiful fish. Look at the colors on them. Beauty. Be beauties. Bee liners. And let me tell you, they taste amazing, and we're going to be cooking them up tonight for you guys. Wow. It's a hot bite. It's a hot bite. It's a hot tear. CJ's over there struggling. I don't want to talk about it right He doesn't now. want to talk about it. I see bass. John? John's on You the know fish. I'm out here. Typical John. I don't know what Sean he's got. Sean Maloose has a fish. Wow. Very typical on you too. You guys are going to watch me on the GoPro clip smoke him. Okay? Very typical. That's a little one, John. You're, yeah, he's a keeper. You're raggedy. He's a keeper. That's you're raggedy. You guys are in the meats right now. I don't know what the deal is. Meat. All the boys have different, te different, different techniques. John? John likes to get a real low lay with this rod and then just smoke them. Chief's just chief and he catches everything. And CJ, CJ needs some Deans. That's, he's complaining because, oh, oh my God, oh my that God. That's all we got is greenies in the well. That was a nice but watch Chief's rod tip here. Look at it, just bouncing. Smokage. And then when you, you gotta wait till you get that right bite, smoke them. Chief could demonstrate, we were marking the stank. Are you still getting bit? We're gonna stank at him. Like, yeah, you gotta have it really. You gotta let it back every couple bites. Oh, there, there he is, Chief. You got him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like came off wow. You really gotta set that hook. Wow, you really hate to do that. I like to have a little slack in it, Chief. Yeah. Uh, All right, just hit the bottom. It's John's gonna Are you getting bites? Here. Are you getting bites? Oh, oh, there he is. Wow. Tifo's got him on now. Oh my oh, gosh. John there he been... was. CJ's back there still goofing. I don't know what to do. Ow. Oh! Uh -oh. I talk smoke wow. and he gets one. Typical. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Two verms. I'm guessing. Oh! A triple lay! Yeah. What is the deal? Yeah. It's a lights out chew. Uh-huh, little worm. He'll eat. He'll eat for Vince. Uh-huh. Another one. John, you got a keeper? I got a grind, you know, man. Just out here. Just Very out suspect. Here. Very so. Oh, what's the uh, deal? A Palm Beach. A Palm petite. Beach Petite, as they would say. All right, I'm going to let the boys get on their zeal back here and take the camera off their face. And I think I'm gonna rig up another rod. Sheep's on a tear back there, dude. I think I'm gonna rig up another rod and we're all four gonna start smoking them. So I'm gonna set up the GoPro and you guys are gonna see that in a minute. You know me and John, just taking a little Corona break here. Very nutrient-esque. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, wow. I had to cast over there, CJ. Yeah. Oh, you're on the pitch. Oh my God, John, you so. Major pitch. John's a pitch guy at heart. Oh my god, oh my god. He on X Games mode. <laughs> Coming up. That's a pretty nice. off the bottom, dude. So we're out here, I'm teaching Malouse how to fish today. Um, I literally... So first you gotta open the veil. And, uh, I literally just... Wow. Yeah, it's a pile of emerge. Oh, uh, uh, that's a pile of cheap. Hold on, let me reset. Hold on, Chief. Let me see if I can bet. 
Okay. Literally just put this in the boat. Wow, that's John's a John's talking smoke. Nice. Wow. wow. It's his first, it's his first fish of the day. Keeper. Did you catch one? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I caught three. Uh, I oh, jeez. Instant. Really? Yeah, that's barking. Wow, my God. Any size of this little oh, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, out that's... here in the sand. That's a nice one. Cold water. That was, oh, that was a good one. little hole out there. here, boys. Cheap that's pump. good. Just mark it. Imagine he's in the back. Just mark it out of nowhere. We need to go over the big pile of fish either. Wow. A berm shoe, as they say. Nice berm. We gotta get on a double up game here. And boys. here, here's how I do this, boys. I come over here with the D hooker. And I just lay it right on there. Boom! And ain't gotta touch no big snapper, boy. Ain't gonna get all raggedy like CJ. CJ. I got into a hot tear here, boys. I don't think Hound Dog fought that hard. I literally saw it was a wild I saw it was a Come on, boys. Hey, that's, that's, that's some nice. beast drop bait right there, boy. Yeah. Wow. You got a nice one? Yeah. That's a lot. Oh, that's it. Oh, you got a double. Wow. A two for one special. Nice. DJ's wow. yeah. a laser. Nice, boy. Yeah. Wait a minute, Jay. CJ Slazer out two here for one. on a two for one special. Wow, that's, that's called the McDouble. Is that yours? Chief cast it out, got tight instantly. I was squeaking. Oh! Uh, was unreal. Yeah, Chief, these fish are really cool. Oh, that was a yeah, nice one, dude. Oh, oh my god. That might be a red snapper there, boys. Uh. <laughs> He smoked it! Oh my! On the way down, they're smoking. He's on X game mode. Yo, this is gonna be the biggest one yet, Chief. I'm just calling it out. Yeah, I'm not even down to the bottom. They're smoking me. Uh huh. Maybe not the biggest one, but yeah. it's a nice one. Good work. I don't know what that sound is. He's coming off. Okay, Mr. Chief. Okay, Mr. Bobby. I have a seat back. Yo, you're gonna have to put a big. Oh my god! Put a barracuda fish, on. Wow, that's a stud. That's a stud. Barracuda chew. Yeah. Phew! Well, what's that followed up? Nice right. shark oh, piece. Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe you guys are getting this. I'm getting absolutely oh. hammered right now. Now, yeah, what we're just getting. Oh, so many fish right now. It's unreal. Ready, Chief? I got you. There you go, John. Come on. Nice. That's a nice one. Come on, Jay. That was a hook set of a white. Look at that. Oh, I'm, I'm unreal. Real. We're the market of I mean, we're drifting in one and a half knots and we're marking them now. Oh my gosh. Sure, Jerry, get ready. Your deal is you got eight going down last time. Oh! <laughs> That's a nice one. I might have a two for one special here. This beauts, Chief. I might have a two for one special, Chief, yeah. though. These, These are, are, crazy these are hill things. type of vermilions here. Yeah. Yo. I got a two for one here. I just not the off. I got a two for one, one boy. Double barracuda. Go, go, go. Careful. Cut the barracuda. Lights out. Where's the barracuda? Oh, let me get a piece here. Ooh! Ain't a two for one, but it's a oh, giant. That's a nice one. Wow. Look at that one, dude. Are you kidding me? Still <laughs> four pounds. John Easto. Wow. Lights out. Barracuda chew. Jay, still getting bites? Beautiful yeah. vermilion snapper there. All right, we're in an absolute vermilion shoe right now, guys. I'm making two videos out of today because we started catching so many vermilions. We're filling up five gallon buckets here. So I want to show you exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it. So pretty much, 
chief setting up the boat he's going up in front of the spot here and then we will drift with the wind and the current we're gonna drift with the wind and the current north and blur, blur that out for you and the more we drift north we go over the spot so the more of a million you catch and you have opportunity to catch a lot more john just hooked up on a nice one here from the bottom for less than five seconds literally and all we're using for bait over here is we're, we chief just caught a, a barracuda that john thought was wild, very suspect and great deep drop bait cut it up into little pieces just like this oh, wow. put it on the hook and john's got a grunt so that's where it's at all right guys chiefo says he's got a giant here that's a that's a solid one Jay. he's sliding he is sliding you don't see vermilion slide every day oh sure typical three pounder deal here oh sure uh-huh hold that beauty up jeremy wade chief beauty beauty we're marking so many fish it's ridiculous it's ridiculous i'm gonna rig up another rock that's a nice one so i switched to the spinner because chief's a conventional guy and now we're doing a little seminar here see if we can get tight on a nice fur. you know me just the palm beach platique wow really gave up half life that's a nice one here the spinner's also very suspect wow wow nice one. Oh, triple up Stop shaking, I didn't lose my switch. I guess this is not a nice one. Typical to lose. Is this thing legal? Yeah. No, uh, no. no. Very 11 ounce. Two little headpiece, little tentacle. That might be the butt. I don't know. Look I'm not that. a squid guy. That's a Jeez. beauty. That's a Jeremy weight. And then I got a little esking piece. And you just hook them just like that, right in the platoose. Eight ounce lead. Drop it down to the depths. Under 60 feet of water. You know me. That's a layup here, boys. That's a layup. See, he's on a wreck there. Wow. That was him. I don't know. John's a real chicken guy these days. How does it look, Raggedy? I mean, you're in the picture, but... Wow. No bite for oh, She's about to lay. She's about to lay up. Alright. The berms just found me. Now we're in the sand. We're off the big school. And this is where you catch the giant. Oh. Congregating on me. Found my squid. Oh, oh god! Chief is on a wreck there over here. I'm getting embarrassed on my own YouTube channel. Really, no surprise though. Come on, lay up on me. Oh my god! Here we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Jeremy. Jawi <laughs> more. Ah, oh, nice ocean, chief. Tough life. Might have another Palm Beach petite. Might be getting smaller. Oh no, a little mutton. Oh wait, smoke a crack. That's for mine. Very sus. Very sus. Elite. So here's what I do. Come over here, Jack. Instead of touching them and cutting up your hands, just take my hook on this D hooker right there. Boom, just like that. You don't gotta touch them. And then, just because you guys see us leaving them on the deck doesn't mean we're ruining the quality of the meat. We're do, we do like 10 minute drifts and they're still a little bit alive, but for the most part they die. But as you see, they're splashing, flopping around, and you don't want to pick them up and cut your hands. So we wait till the end of the drift and you want to catch as many fish in one drift as you can. So that's why we do that. All we're doing right now is John slushing these fish. Salt water brinage. Oh, a nice knocker cup today. Got a couple gag groupers down there that you'll see in a couple videos after this. Petite Blanite. Vince might take them. 
Probably not. Look at that. Absolute beauties. All right. We are going to run in now and clean them up for you. All right, boys, just pulled up to the marina here. Left these fish on ice overnight just because I was too tired to fillet. I wasn't going to make CJ do it. Beautiful vermilion snapper there. Got my six inch dexter knife here. This is actually one of mine that I sharpen. So I know you guys gave me some hate in the last video, but I keep mine nice. Okay. All we're going to be doing is going ahead, playing like any other fish, cut right behind the head, make that knife glides right through these little snappers. Perfect, perfect knife for these smaller snappers. And really, and this is what I fillet just about everything with, but. Stick it through. Boom, just like that. Cut that rib cage out. Oops. Beautiful vermilion flavor there. Go ahead and skin it. Cut the rest of that rib cage out, trying to get all of it from suspect. Last thing, we got the pin boats here, boys. After we cut the pin bones out, we're all set. Boom, just like that. Took me all of what, 20 seconds? Free to pull vermilion fillet. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Find that peck in there. Up to the head. Just follow my knife all the way down there. Typical zeal here. Super simple fish to fillet, and they got easy meat. It's not tough meat or anything. Just like that, boys. Beautiful vermilion fillet. Catfish are flared. All right, go ahead and make that first cut right there. I like to leave a little meat so I have something to hold on to. And then you literally just use the skin and work it back and forth. And vermilion are delicate fish. You want to be a little bit careful with the fly. Pen bones. A little bit of rib cage. Oh, a little bit of rib cage there. We got two beautiful vermilion flays there, boys. I'm gonna go ahead and flay the rest of these three fish, and then I'll see you guys back in the kitchen. All right, so we just have a half a cup of wine, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in the pan. It's heating up on uh, medium. Let that burl. And then we did some lemon squeegeage. Squeezage. And got a half a cup of that as well. Go ahead and pour that into the pan. And then now we got some diced up onions and some minced garlic that we did a minute ago. And throw that in that little mixture there. And we're gonna have it sitting on a high heat for about three minutes there, boys. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of salt and pepper there, dump it into the mixture. Now we got a little, of, a little bit of Cholula sauce and go very light, says Chef Dan. We don't want this dish to be spicy, just a little tad of spismints. Oh my god. <laughs> that was good, that was good. And now, wow, look at the color difference. That's what gives it that lemon-esque butter color. And now I'm gonna mix it off for a second and then we're gonna let it simmer for about three more minutes. We have a half a cup of heavy whipping cream here. We're gonna pour that in while we stir it. And then we are gonna let that uh, cook for a minute and then whisk it with some butter. And the heavy, the heavy whipping cream is just gonna thicken it up a little. And the recipe calls for Worcestershire sauce, but I actually forgot that at the store, so. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. 
Shout out to me. You wanna let that get thick, but you still wanna mix it up so it doesn't get too thick, you, you feel? I'm still gonna stir because you don't wanna let it sit or burn, but I'm gonna put a couple little things of butter in there while I'm stirring. Help that thicken it up as well and adds that beautiful buttery wine flavor we're looking for in this recipe. And then I will see you guys when we're done with the sauce and it smells so good. If you could smell this, Lubinator, you're missing out. I'm coming in hot. I, I invited him over for dinner tonight. Can you believe it, boys? Hit me with a no. Unreal. All right, boys. All we did was add a little bit of cornstarch and stir it around until it was about this consistency. And let me tell you, it looks absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, I cannot. And it smells. I'm gonna head out. Sniffer. I'm gonna flee the scene. And next we're gonna start the fish. And all we're gonna do with the fish is a little coat of flour and then a light seasoning because this is the whole dish is the uh, sauce. So like I said, guys, we're just gonna do a light, light based seasoning here. And I, you don't wanna go heavy because the whole point of this dish is the sauce and you wanna get the flavor. But it's not even coming out there. What's, what's the verdict? The whole point of the dish is in the sauce. So just like that, that's plenty. Then you're gonna do a little coat of flour. And you really wanna pat it down and get the flour in there. Just a light dredge size sandbags. And then we're gonna do the same thing repeatedly over and over. I mean, look at those beautiful fillets, Johnson. What do you think? I think they're beautiful. You know Vermillion's your favorite snapper. Don't, don't deny it. What are you calling turkey? Lights out. Outdoors. Moving we yay. This is a flounder, G. All right, we're gonna add the fish now to our pern. We're gonna cook it for probably about a minute and a half, two minutes on each side tops because this is thin snapper and does not need to be overcooked. It's also gonna cook in the sauce, so. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the smaller yeah. pieces. Very scary. Nice with that. Hmm. Smells like out. Outdoors. We are gonna go ahead and take our first batch of fish off. Looks beautiful. All right, we're going to go ahead and make the next patch. All right, boys, that looks absolutely amazing. I'm super stoked to try it, but you know me, a little lemon cello, gotta take my first sip. Wow, if you haven't tried that LaCroix, then I'm sorry for you. Sponsor us. Sponsor me. Um, this looks so good, and the sauce smells so good, I can't wait. Look at that. Mmm. Wow, that is lights out.
What are you mm. doing? Mm. Never eat before the captain. Mm. Mm. You know what? It's incredible, but it could be a little less lemony. Do you agree, Dan? Yeah. It's really good, but how can I agree? I haven't tasted it yet. I said, Dan. It's good. When I tasted the sauce over at the uh, stove top earlier, it was perfect. You added no, a bit didn't. more lemon. We no, we didn't. No. no? Mm. Still really good. It could just be Very less good. lemony, right? Like mm -hmm. a tad bit. Mm. The um, the vermilion is delicious. Oh. Vermilion snapper is the best. Yeah. Listen. Take it from the captain. Vermilion snapper, it beats grunt. Uh, no, but for real. Vermilion is, it's like a lane snapper and a yellowtail mixed with the, um, I don't know what I'm saying. It's so, uh, did you just pull a Joe Biden? <sighs> I can't get a sentence out here. It's so delicate and flaky. But it's just so good. Where are you right now? In heaven? I don't know. Mom, what do you think? You like it? It's a little too lemony, right? A little too lemony, but it's yeah. good. Pull back on the lemon le next time. Pull back on the lemon next time, boys. But. You got a lemon fish with lemon cello. That's right. Lemon cello? <laughs> lemon cello. So really good. So, yeah, I do like it. Really appreciate you guys watching this video. Took us two hours to cook this. Don't ask me why. I don't really cook a lot, but you know me. Um, make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed it. And we are almost sold out of shirts. I mean, come on. Like come I on. said, come on, John. Buy a shirt. Buy a shirt. This is so the captain. It's it's legendary stuff, and and you're not gonna have a chance to buy an OG Movement shirt ever again. And I'm an, I'm I'm sorry for you. I really am. Anyways. Drop a comment what you think of the video. Make sure to turn on the post notification bell so it notifies you when post your next video. Like I said, guys, August is gonna be a really good month for us. I wanna post a lot. I wanna bang out a bunch of videos since I'm back and doing healthy. Back and doing healthy. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the rest of my dinner. Love you, fam. Till next time, see ya.